Hello, Whitfield Elementary. Mr. Durr here to talk about your Hour of Code event that's coming your way. What is Hour of Code? Well, Hour of Code is where we focus on our computer programming and computer science skills. Computer science, or CS, is everywhere in our world. We use it in all parts of our lives, and it's hard to find a job that's not been impacted by computer science. Here's a little video from code.org. So just like that video shared, CS is everywhere. Computer science is in all parts of our lives. I mean, from our phones to our devices, the items we use on the internet, movies and our games, medical, even farmers using technology, going into space, and there's even more that is being discovered and made. It is one of the biggest job markets and areas that we need careers in. For Hour of Code, it's gonna be the weeks of January 24th and January 31st. So from January 24th to February 4th, your classrooms are invited to participate in our Hour of Code event. Go beyond just an hour. You'll, your, every classroom has signed up to come to the Discovery Classroom to do various different activities. Then there will be things for you to do in your classroom. So in your classroom, you might be going on your favorite coding app that we may have installed already on your device. Maybe with your teacher, you'll play a digital breakout. We've got a flip grade for you to post. What have you worked on? What did you do and how did you participate in this year's event? Our big school-wide game for the two weeks is a goose chase where you can earn points for your classroom to earn rewards. And when you come to the Discovery Classroom, you should be also participating in that goose chase. All right. There's more about that in your student slides section. We've got Hour of Code games and activities that will be linked in your student slides that will come out to you from my Google Classroom. Students in class might program our favorite in our first grade class, CodeSpark Academy or Codable. We've got brand new Hour of Code event uh, such as program a poem, uh, simulate an outbreak, a virus outbreak. All right, that's kind of appropriate for what's going on. Uh, Hello World, three new ones for you. We've got our classic Grinch and othercode.org. And those of you in third, fourth, and fifth, I'll be sharing with you your in CS First Classroom code and create your own animated Google logo. Thank you, Mrs. Schultz. She's also shared out two wonderful resources as well. These resources will be shared again in these student slides and you can click on them and get to even more activities. Teachers, you'll have access to these slides that I'm sharing now so that you will also have access to coding and programming. I love this little Bebot simulator over here for our kindergarten through second graders and Code Monkey. And for our other kids, I. Ozotown, we love our Ozobots. Here's you can do something online. And of course, our dance party, which has been one of our favorites for a few years. When you come to the Discovery Classroom, I'll have various activities set up for you and your classroom. And we'll have two classrooms coming to the Discovery Classroom. Maybe you'll be coding on Osmo with coding our Obby or coding uh, your own song in Coding Jam on Osmo with the iPads. I've got some board games. We can go off 
the device and just program and make some algorithms and sequences in our board games here. Of course, our regular favorite dash robots will be back to plow the snow that has happened in my room. So we'll have three robots out that we can take turns trying to program our bots to plow the snow. We'll have primary devices out for our younger kiddos. Our Coda Pillar and our Code and Go mouse will be out. We've got our Code Hopper for all grades. Uh, so we can get some movement in here as we do our Hour of Code event. Uh, and when we are working at these centers, there will be even more that we could have out there. But I want you solving problems, creating algorithms, debugging on your own. And what can you make with code? You'll be receiving tickets when you're caught programming and creating and debugging on your own. Teachers, I'll be putting out tickets in your mailbox for when you participate in the event in your classroom. If you run out of tickets, please let me know. I've got plenty more. What do you use those tickets for? Well, prizes, of course. We've got pens, wristbands, uh, sticker sets, buttons, tattoos. We've got a water bottle this year. We've got our iHeart coding glasses. Who are those spiffy? We've got brand new books, Code Like a Girl, Code It, Created Ideas and Inspiration for Coding. So thank you again. Uh, Mrs. Schultz was able to get a hold of these and donate these as well. Along with Ada Twist, who's got her new Netflix series out, Scratch Programming for Beginners. These are all great books and resources and even more. Uh, we've got our Moby, a set of class set stickers of Moby and the Empower, Educate and Explore. Now, some of these prizes will be for the raffle tickets and some of these prizes are also for our Goose Chase participants. So in our Hour of Code, our top classes will have a chance to enter in for a free morning session of discovery. Yes. So that includes robots, iPad games and more. That's beyond the Hour of Code event. So participate come out, do some coding, log all of your stuff, get the events done in the school I goose chase, and I hope we have fun. So stay tuned for more Hour of Code updates, video explanations to help you out in your classroom and more. I can't wait to see what you create this year with code. Those slides will again will be coming out to staff so that you have that link to have access to and to share out to students. And students, I will be posting your slideshows in my Discovery Google Classroom. I look forward to programming with all of you and seeing what you do and your participation in this year's two-week Hour of Code event. Teachers, there are resources at the end of the slides and videos of how to 